Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how I um, fix, style, and install my Miami Girl lace wing. So this is what the inside, this is what the wigs looks like, and this is what the inside look like. You have this much lace up front, and then you have three combs, one in the front center and two on the sides, and then you have... Um, this is where the tracks are and everything and then it is stretchy and stuff and then this is how the cap is made and in the back you have another comb and then you also have the adjustable straps that way you can make it tighter so it can be more snug on your head or you can loosen it up that way it won't be so tight so this can pretty much fit a lot of I'm not gonna say all but it can fit a lot of different head sizes so yeah that's what it looks like okay so first off this lace or any lace wig I don't wear them like regular lace wigs you know how people glue them down or tape them down I don't do that. I wear them like a regular wig. So I just put it on. I have my stocking cap on. So I just put it on. Placing it wherever I want it to go. See? Just put it down. Make sure it's gonna lay, make sure it lays flat on your head. And it does now. And the combs on the side, if you want it to be really secure, make sure you put the combs in. That way they grab onto your hair so they stay really snug. So that the wig will be really tight. Okay, now it's laying flat. Hope you guys can see that. Okay, now it's laying really flat on my head, as you can see. And the one thing that I don't like about this wig is that it doesn't go very far back, so your part can't if you're ma if you're doing a part, you can't have it going back any further than this point right here so that's really something I don't like about this wig and I wish it would go back further that way it would look a lot more natural although it it does look natural but if it went back further it would look a lot more natural so um yeah the lace doesn't go very far so how I made my part look so natural is all I did was, I'm going to show you what I did. I did it here, but I'm going to show you what I did on this side. Let's say I wanted like a middle part, so I would just part it over here. Or let's make it closer. I would part it over here. Like, as you can see now, it doesn't look, I don't know if you really can see it, but it doesn't look super natural. Like the like this part so pretty much all I do is part it and um, I use a angle brush just a regular angle brush and I'm using some concealer and the concealer I'm using is the MAC Studio Finish Concealer and this is an NC45. So you want like a shade, the same shade as your skin tone, or maybe one shade lighter, if so. So this is the same shade as my skin tone, the NC45. So all I do is dip it in there. You don't need much, just a little bit. Dip it in there and just brush on the part.
And don't worry about getting it on the hair because since synthetic it comes off really easy. So all I do is that. All I do is this and kind of rub it in with my hand that way it would look more natural. So this is how it ends up and it actually looks really natural. I don't know if you guys can tell but it really does. So that's all I did to get that middle part like that. And I like this wig as a middle part actually. I don't usually wear middle parts but on me it looks a lot better with the middle part. So that is pretty much all I do and with this wig you have to always keep um, brushing it and um, constantly trying to get the tangles out because this wig let me tell you now it tangles like it really does especially because of the fact that it's so long this is like 30 inches the fact that it's so long it tangles all the time like you can't go outside without a brush if you have this baby on let's just put it that way so yeah, it takes a lot of maintenance because you always have to be worried about it tangling and it does shed, the wig shed. Like once you're brushing, if you're brushing it, a lot of hair or a good amount of hair will come out. So this wig does shed and that's, I'm sure that should be understandable for everyone because it's not human and um, it's really long. So that's what it is. Pretty much you get what you pay for and this is not expensive. It, I bought it for around $29.99 so it's really cheap for a lace wig so yeah. Okay so I just got done straightening the hair or the wig. Um, as you can see it's pretty straight back to normal. No tangles and everything. And I just want to make sure I tell you guys this, like the, this is the brush that I use. It has a bunch of hair in it right now because I've been brushing this. But the metal bristle brushes are good for weaves and wigs. They're the best for getting like tangles out, especially if you have a wig like this, um, that is not human and, um, it gets really tangled. So... To get the tangles out, you have to use this brush. Like, it gets the tangles out like this. Like, seriously. This works too, but it's not as great as this one. So, make sure you, if you don't have a metal bristle brush, make sure you go out and get one. If you plan on getting this wig or any other synthetic wig or just weaves, period. Because I know, like, store bought extensions or, like, um, store bought hair brands and stuff they get tangled especially in the back and the nape area so if you have one of these brushes it gets that tangle out right away so okay so the thing that I love most about this wig is that it looks really natural like it's you can't really tell that it's synthetic hair because it looks really natural like it's not too shiny it just has the perfect um the perfect luster actually and it looks super duper natural to me and um I like that it's really long of course because I like long hair it's summertime but I don't care if it's 100 degrees outside I can still wear this wig just because I like long hair and it doesn't really bother me that much and uh, da, 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 I know that's a problem for a lot of people but me that's not a problem for me um I like it also because it's fixable like um I've worn it seven times so far and I've had to straighten it and the first the first two times I wore it I didn't have to do anything to it because it was brand new so it was perfectly straight and everything was fine with it but after that I would have I had to straighten it before I wore it because of the tangling because of the tangling and the shedding and stuff so um 
after I wore it, it just got really like tangled towards the bottom. Right now, it's not really tangled because I can just brush it and I just flat iron it. But the first, um, the third time I wore it, I had to straighten it because the bottom part was like tangled, like really, really, really tangled. So all I did was run my flat iron through it and it came back, you know, really bone straight as you can see. So this is my eighth time wearing it. So it's fixable, like you can have it for a long time just as long as you don't mind keeping up with it, like you know, there's a lot of maintenance to this wig. So as long as you don't mind doing the maintenance, this wig will last you. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys liked this video and I hope it was helpful to some of you and um don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video bye